evolution. These are the things which we need to cover in this human evolution. Number one, evidences um, of common ancestors. So we are going to look at uh, them and then see how we can answer questions concerning about that. And then out of Africa hypothesis that humans or modern humans uh, originated from Africa and migrated to the rest of the world. Let's look at the classification of humans. Where do you belong, you guys? Where do you belong? Number one, kingdom, we belong to animalia. It means that we are animals, okay? Phyram uh, codata, it means that we have codates, means that they have a backbone, uh, that um, spinal cord. Yes, the backbone. Not basically the spinal cord, but the backbone, because uh, there are some animals which have the spinal cord, but they don't have the backbone. Then we have a uh, class, we are um, um, mammalia, we are mammals, we have the mammary glands, that's why it's called mammalia. Not, not boobs, no, 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 in science we don't call them boobs, we call them mammary glands, yes. And then um, order is primates, so all of us we are under um, primates like um, uh, chimpanzees, uh, the, the, the monkeys, yeah. So uh, family, how many die? This last part of this word means the family. So the reason why I highlighted this, it means that it is needed. We will ask you this, family to which humans belong. And then homo, genus. The reason why I underlined uh, or I changed this, it is homo, because in the phylogenetic tree, we will ask you how many genera are there? How many genera are there? If it's one, it's called genus. If there are many, we call them genera. Then you have uh, which you call um, a species, we, we under uh, sapiens, we are homo sapiens sapiens. So um, the scientific name is supposed to be uh, written like this. In uh, you, 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 Since you, you, you don't have the italics in the paper, so you have to underline it. So we are under homo sapiens. So the first name is for a genus, and then the second name is for a species. So if they ask you how many species are there, so we will see this uh, when we go to phylogenetic tree. So how do you write the scientific name? This is what I'm trying uh, to, 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 to say. The first letter must be capital letter. And then the, for the second name, the second letter must be, the first letter must be a small letter. So this one is a capital letter, while this one is a small letter. Yes. So these colors, they are just there with um, a reason. Yes. So this one shows the number of years. We start from present. Yes. Present. And then we go downwards. That's why we say million years ago. M Y A Maya million years ago yes so um then uh, we will see some questions concerning about that and i will try to explain it nicely as this uh, class ends nicely so that you can answer any question concerning about that all right characteristics of humans shared with um shared with other african um apes. number one upright posture we stand upright that one is very clear we are going to be a little bit faster then we are saying that a large brain yes we have a large brain compared to uh, donkeys uh compared to dogs yes so um the brain you see that the elephant has a big head with a big brain it might not be that the elephant is is having a big brain compared to us no we are comparing the brain compared to the body size if our body size is compared to the brain our brain is bigger if you compare the brain of the elephant compared to the body size you'll find out that the, its brain size is too small eyes in front that is very clear so that you can see nicely and easily and then you're saying that eyes with the cones you can see color it means that dogs cannot see color yes so but uh we humans or primates we can see color yes then free rotating arms you can rotate them nicely yes even you can slap someone from behind you it means that they can rotate long upper arms our arms um the upper arms are longer two teeth yes uh, we say that we <laughs> we call them teeth okay if you look at the mammary glands on the top they have two two of them uh, if you look at um a, a cow it has more than two yeah, it has more than two. So it means that the humans and other primates, chimpanzee, uh, gorilla, all those ones, they have two of them, two of them, not boobs. Yes. All right. And then they're saying that elbow uh, joints allowing rotation. Yes. 
This is the elbow we are talking about. Yes, it can allow that rotation. Sexual dimorphism. You can see a, a difference in a guy and, uh, and, 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 and uh, a female, a male and a female. Even if you are a guy and you put things uh, which makes you look like uh, a lady, still we don't know that yeah, when you are a lady or you are a guy. Even when you talk, even if you twist it, still we will know. So sexual dimorphism, we can see you clearly from a distance. Then you are saying that opposable thumb, you can hold it. Uh, when you're holding a, a cup, you see that these fingers this side, the other ones is the other side. So it means that this um, the, the, the thumb is opposite to other fingers. And then flat nails, though some people, they add some nails there, but you see that they are flat, yes. We don't have claws. Claws are those for maybe the, uh, animals which dig, so we don't have claws. All right. So basically, that's what the, 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 the similarity is between humans and the other primates. What are some of the differences?